Welcome to Cha Cha's Queendom. Today, I want to show you my version of fish and chips. Only there'll be no chips, so it's just deep fried fish. There are all kinds of fish and chips out there. There's spuds, and then sometimes I make Gordon Ramsay's recipe at home, and I like them all. But you know, it's just sometimes it's kind of like a down jacket kind of day, but then there are also times when you just feel like a cardigan kind of day. So today I just want to show you this lighter version of deep fried fish. And on top of that, I also created this Asian inspired sauce that I think it's pretty amazing to go with it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be showing you today, right? Okay, now let's wait. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. And now let's get started. Here are the ingredients. So first we need some yummy black cod and I got them from Crow Cow. I really like them. And I also like that you can see that who is the captain who caught these fish. It's pretty cool, huh? Like these black cod that I have, they're caught by Aaron Longton, Captain Aaron Longton. Thank you so much for doing your job and getting us such amazing fish. These are wild caught because my daughter sometimes get allergic reaction when it's farm raised. So I really like the quality of these black cod. And we need some egg for egg wash and also for the sauce that we're gonna make. And then there's some lime for lime juice. And uh, we need some cornstarch, sea salt, garlic, palm sugar, cilantro, fish sauce, olive oil, and some freshly ground black pepper. First, we're gonna rinse them a little bit. And then we're gonna pat them dry really well. Now we're gonna cut them into cubes. Big or small, it's all up to you. Okay, now we're gonna season, just simple seasoning because we're gonna have this amazing sauce, remember? So we're just gonna simple season with sea salt and black pepper. Now, season with love. Season sincerely, okay? Treat your ingredients with respect. It drives me nuts when those celebrity chefs, they just sprinkle and leave it. And I'm like, no, 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 no! Give it a massage! You need to season it evenly, all over, okay? Let's season with some love. Give it a good massage and toss around. So the salt, the black pepper, is on top of the fish evenly. All right, now let it sit for about 15 minutes. While the fish is marinating, we're gonna start with the sauce. Basically, we're making an Asian-inspired aioli sauce, which, did you know that authentic aioli sauce actually was made with pureed potato? I didn't know that. But I did learn it at my sauce course in Paris when I went to La Cordon Bleu. I hope I said it right. Anyways, who are we kidding? We're just normal people. So we're just gonna do the common way, which is kind of like a flavored mayonnaise. So we're gonna start with one egg yolk. Look at this egg yolk, it's so orangey. Oh my God. And then we're gonna add in about one tablespoon of lime juice and we're gonna mix it first. After you mix it really well, we're gonna drizzle in the olive oil really slowly. When you're doing it super slowly, that guarantees that creamy texture in result. But here, let me make it clear, okay? When we were at Le Cordon Bleu, the chef asked us to do it by hand. And seriously, it was killing my arms and I worked out, okay? 
And I asked the chef, like, so, uh, you guys don't have the electric beater at Le Cordon Bleu? The chef says, no, you beat by him. Every girl doesn't make you less of a mom. Why is that the electric beater make you less of a chef? So people, use your electric beater. It doesn't make you less of a chef. And I guarantee you, it's gonna taste as amazing. Now remember, you wanna drizzle in really slowly. And I like to take a break. Make sure the oil is incorporated and then I continue. So this is the consistency I'm looking for. I'm not really making it into a mayonnaise kind of consistency. Like I said earlier, I want to make it light and refreshing. Now we're going to put in the minced garlic into the sauce. And then we're going to use the cilantro stem. So we're going to pick the leaf off. and we're gonna finely chop it. Now put this in the sauce. Palm sugar, fish sauce, more lime juice. Now give it another whisk. Give it a try. Oh, it's good. The sauce is done. Set it aside and we're gonna fry the fish. Now we just need to do the egg wash lightly and then cornstarch. Lightly shake off the excess. Okay, now we're done breading it. We're gonna just fry it. Turn up the heat. Pour in my oil. So we're gonna heat up the oil to about 350 degrees and then we're gonna start frying with medium heat. Now they're all light golden brown. They're ready. I'm gonna take them out. Gosh, it smells so good. What I need to do now is just to give it a try. So as you can see, the crust and the fish, it's like they're integrated together. It won't get separated like the fish and chips that we have outside or the, the fish and chips that we normally have, which is not bad. But then this one is just light, crunchy, refreshing, and this whole thing is integrated into one whole experience. So I really like it and it's really good on its own. The fish is juicy, tender, and the, uh, the crust is still crunchy, right? Now, the amazing sauce. I'm gonna drizzle on top of it. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, people, you have to give it a try. Oh my gosh, this sauce is so good. It's it's savory, it's umami, it's sweet, it's sour, it's Hangy, it's all everything umami together, okay? And you totally cannot tell that it was made with electric beater. 
And guess what? Even if the electric beater is too much for you, you can totally use the, the store-bought mail and then mixing all these amazing ingredients. Still, it doesn't make you any less of a chef. Do whatever works for you. All right, now I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video or recipe, please remember to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Also, turn on that little bell for notifications so you'll know whenever we have a new video coming out. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.